Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we, we are going to be focused on One UI 3.0 versus One UI 2.5 and older versions. And we are going to take a look at the new updates and enhancements that were brought to the lock screen. So, what I have right over here is a One UI 2.5 device. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Here's the software information One UI 2.5, Android 10. And then with this one, I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to go down, go into above phone. I'm going to go into software information. One UI 3.0, Android 11. Tap this a couple times. And here's what you get. You get this dial. Dial it once. Nothing happened. Twice. Nothing happened. Thrice. Nothing. Oh, there we go. So that's Android 11 right there when you dial it several times. All right. Now let's dive in and look at the features, the new features of the actual lock screen on One UI 3.0. Now, before I dive in, I know that some of you guys are going to ask me, where do I get these wallpapers from? I have them linked down below. Click the link. It's going to take you to my website. This wallpaper is wallpaper number two right here. Silver circuit. You tap on it, takes you to the store. Okay, you just download, it's free for Samsung owners. The second wallpaper is also on the same website. You go down a little bit and you just pick the wallpaper bonus. That's the green texture wallpaper, again, free for Samsung Galaxy owners. Uh, but now let's dive into One UI 3.0. So I'm gonna lock the screen and there's actually a bunch of changes here. First one is, if you can see, is the way this fingerprint sensor actually looks. Okay, the icon is now a little bit different. Let me turn them both off. Double tap, double tap. Okay, you can see icon is now a little bit different. I like this one a little bit better. And on top of that, what else we have is we actually have a loss of a feature. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go into my settings on 2.5, if you go to the lock screen, let's go to the lock screen here as well. Okay, lock screen right here. Uh, what we have lost on One UI 3.0 as of now is the ability to change the format of the shortcuts. So on the ultra screen, we do have shortcuts on the bottom corners of each one of these phones for a quick access. Okay, now what we also had on One UI 2.5 was the ability to have a floating button. So if I click this, what would happen is when I lock the screen, and double tap, if I press and hold on the uh, actual fingerprint sensor, it will bring up two shortcuts and I can swipe over to the one that I wanna launch, okay? Uh, in this one, that option is gone under shortcuts, as you can see. We don't have the floating button, we only have the bottom corner shortcuts. So that's a loss on the One UI 3.0, at least for now, with this public beta. The next thing that's actually good, if I go back to my shortcuts, okay, uh, you can see that we have the face widgets option. If I tap on this one, I can add a bunch of widgets onto the lock screen. Now with One UI 2.5, I would have to swipe over to access various widgets. Swipe over, swipe over. That's the iPhone 11 12 event for tomorrow. That's just a calendar. And then we have the no alarm in seven days. In the next seven days, that's the alarm. And then we have the weather, okay? And then we have the big speed routines. But then we go back to the clock. Now with this guy, with the face widgets, first of all, the name has changed from, from face widgets to widgets. So if I click on this one, we have the same option. But this time, what we have is if I lock the screen, double tap to wake it up, I can't swipe over, but if I tap it, it expands all the available widgets, all right, as you can see. Now, the funny thing is with this one here, if I tap on the clock, it just shows me the clock, just like this one. But now we have the widgets at the bottom. So we got the weather, we got the YouTube or any music player, uh, we got the next alarm, Bixby routines, and the calendar right here. And we have a settings option. So if I tap on the settings and enter my fingerprints, takes me straight into the face widgets area. So that's one change. The other change that I actually really like, okay, let's uh, close this, open this up, swipe up. That's my pin number entry screen right here. With this one, it looks much more modernized. As a matter of fact, some people have pointed out to me in my previous videos that it looks like iOS, this one right here, okay? So that's the new uh, pin number 
entry screen. It's a little bit different on both phones. So let's log in here, okay, with this one. Log in, log in, okay? Now let's go to the menu and see if anything major has changed in the actual lock screen menu. If I go over here, one thing that has changed, if I tap on clock style on both of these guys, it's the same way to enter. I'm gonna tap lock, lock screen, okay? Except on this phone, the presentation is a little bit different. We have a wider area that showcases all the clocks. I can pick the clocks from here and pick the colors from here. With this one, I pick a clock, then I go over to color and pick a color. I think this is a little bit better, a little bit more efficient. So that's another change right there. Let's go back and see what else is happening. Now, again, always on display is part of the lock screen. I've talked about this before, but if I do go to clock style, and if I go to my always on display, again, the presentation is different. Here, we have two tabs, okay? One is the regular clocks over here, as you can see. Change the color. Here's the colors at the bottom. But then I can go over here, and I can add GIFs and Bitmojis from this secondary menu uh, tab on the top. So it's been separated to make more sense, to make the interface a little bit more uh, cleaner. Beyond that, everything else is here is the same. Let's go back here. Okay, so basically under, under the lock screen, all the menu items are mostly the same. You will notice that the descriptions have been removed, which makes it look a little bit more clean, but that might come back. This is public beta one as of now. So we don't know if it's gonna be clean like this or it's gonna come back. I do like the descriptions a little bit, tells you what's happening at least if you're new to the system. Now, another difference is under wallpaper services, okay? So you probably have seen the dynamic lock screen wallpapers. They're actually amazing. Let me just click apply, apply, okay? Let's go for dynamic lock screen apply. Now the difference is if I go back here and if I tap on the settings, uh, we have so many more categories and options to choose from as opposed to the five previous categories. Now when I turn off my screen and turn it on, I can swipe over and I have access to all these uh, wallpapers. I can tap on plants, art, okay? So now on the back we have arts and pets and stuff like that. If I swipe over, I can choose and untick, take and untick things I don't want or want in the background, all right? So that's great. If I kill all these, now I'm just left with desserts, I can pick the desserts option. So every time I lock the phone and turn it on, it's gonna be a different wallpaper. Let's log in, there you go, okay? Now, again, of course, this one has it too, but this one simply has more categories, more options. And that's honestly uh, everything that is new on the lock screen, things that have changed up a little bit, uh, in case you guys were interested in the details. But if you go down here, everything else is the same. If I tap on about, about, you'll see the versions are different. Obviously, it's gonna have a newer number. This is at five, that's at six, okay? So expect to get this one very soon. Uh, the only big things that I like, two things I like is this. I like the fact that I can tap on this, gives me all my widgets over here. And the fact that when you go up to log in, we have a cleaner screen overall, okay? Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.